Let's move over to the rough next side here. We were talking about PJ Walker, so let's talk about the pass catchers because, I mean, Kim Phillips, like, there are no flaws here. Uh, if you can afford him, he's great. He's $22. Uh, but like, if you find a way to spend down at running back, like maybe you go Lance Dunbar there and then spend down to your other receiver slots. Cam Phillips is awesome. He has 27% of the targets through the first three weeks. He has 34% of the deep targets. No concerns there. The problem is that if you use PJ Walker, it's hard to get him and Cam Phillips in at the same time, which is why I want to make note of Khalil Lewis. Khalil Lewis is $16. He has 21% of the targets, not as much deep work as Cam Phillips. So... Like, there's a reason that the salaries are so different between the two. But Khalil Lewis gets you exposure to P.J. Walker. He will play a lot of snaps. He will get targets overall. So I am okay with Khalil Lewis as a salary-saving measure. What is your read on those two guys? Yeah, I mean, obviously you want Cam Phillips. But, if you, I mean, if you build a stack with Walker and Phillips— you have fourteen dollars left for on average for your other four players. That's that's pretty tough. I mean, you can do it. Uh, I'm sure I will do it because it's really hard to go into this two game slate without stacks of of Walker and Phillips. But uh, for the price, I think Lewis makes a lot of sense. He's second on the team in target share, and really behind him there isn't anything super safe. I mean, Sammy Coates is like falling off the earth. Nick Holly gets targets, but I, I don't really want to invest too much in, in Holly. I mean, Sam Mobley outsnapped Sammy Coates last week. He played 57% of the snaps. He's $13. So, I mean, you have, I guess, other places to go. But uh, if I'm not playing, if I'm playing PJ Walker in a lineup and I'm not playing Cam Phillips, uh, it's going to be Lewis pretty much every time. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. 